they failed massively in the transfer market. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's any quick solution in January either. I think it's next summer. I'd genuinely be looking at next summer if I'm Liverpool. I'm s- Do you think Klopp will be there next summer? Let's go to the Premier League. I mean, what is going on? Uh, well, let, let's let's celebrate Leeds' goal yeah, first massively. because we'll come to Liverpool in a moment. But, you know, Jesse March, David, he's under pressure. Mm. And yet, uh, it's that kind of thing that can, can galvanise a squad. And also as well, if you saw the way the players celebrated with him after the game, yeah. Yeah. running up to him and hugging him, I thought that yeah. was very, very yeah, telling. Yeah, it was, it was. Yeah. And he said in the, the post-match interview, didn't he? He said, you know, he, he doubled down. He said, you know, we're trying to move forward together or words to that effect and he went we yes like that yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's, yeah. it's that was a hell of an afternoon the for hunger and the energy from the first minute I mean if you go look at the first goal just the way they pressed up as well like, I know they got a lot of turnovers high up the pitch as well and just basically put Liverpool under a lot of pressure because everybody knows what Liverpool are like at the moment mm. they're, they're running on fumes and they really, really made sure to attack that weakness of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally, yeah I mean <laughs> there was one moment that, that when Darwin Nunes made that run from attacking box all the way back to his defensive box. And I thought to myself, that kind of thing, you just don't see that with the Liverpool players at the moment. No. David says they're running on fumes. Yeah, it's um, it's funny, isn't it? When Thiago is one of your more energetic midfielders, you know, yeah. you're probably in trouble. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> a guy who plays like 70%, 75% of games a season. Yeah, exactly. You know? so. Exactly, yeah. Who, who is like renowned as a stroller. And I mean that in a, I mean that as a compliment. You know, he's not the guy you want busting a guy. Um they're su- they're in such a weird place now that I think it goes beyond you know we've talked about it on the show before about having to lift yourself again after going so close in all all competitions last season. Mm-hmm. But there, there's something there's something not quite right that goes beyond losing Mane. It goes beyond you know that yeah. you know coming down from that high because Manchester City have have had not not quite what Liverpool did last season as, as it was going about two games away from the quadruple. But they've had seasons where they've been very very close to you know, Champions League glory and, yeah, and all yeah. the rest of it. So it's not too dissimilar, but it's never been this bad, the drop-off. No, and I do wonder if, um, not that you necessarily need to think like this as a man- as an elite manager, you know, given that Klopp is an elite manager, but I wonder when it gets to this stage, is it is everything beyond repair? Like, do you, ha- will, will Klopp have ever needed to have the capabilities to turn a team around like yeah, this? Yeah. I know like people, you know, we mentioned the seven season stuff, before and certainly how things at Dortmund, but when you throw so much love in particular into a team mm-hmm. and into a way of playing, how do you then do it again? Uh, essentially, y- yeah. But but, but how how do you then broach the fact that it's not working that and that like it you need a complete refresh because if you've invested so much time and energy into yeah, it, yeah. you're going to believe it anyway. Because well, when he first went there, obviously they needed to get going, and it took him a little while. Yeah, and then once he got going, then my goodness. You know, created one of the finest teams of of, of our generation. Yeah, you, you could argue, but as you say, when that goes wrong, then what do you do? Yeah, because you, you can't if you're reaching for the same levers, Jim. It's clearly not working. Well, there there is a sense that maybe he is trying to change the style a bit, and it isn't, and he isn't quite sure how to do it yet. Because I mean, they're, they're do, you th- do, do you think? That? Well, I think so because if you the, the Liverpool team of past seasons have, have kind of overwhelmed teams with a just swarm of press yeah. essentially and that's it's just gone it's just completely gone well, that's what Graham, game. Graham Sooner says and, Liverpool used to bully teams now they're being bullied yeah and uh, against Arsenal he, he started with four forwards which was kind of strange <laughs> and that to me implies that he's kind of fiddling and he's he knows that yeah. something has to change and he's got to recalibrate this in some way and that he isn't quite sure how to do it yet. Well, because at elite level, it's very difficult to do that. Yeah, you can't, I was, I was about so, to say, so little room for, for error. It's totally, yeah. Like Vish said, he's an elite manager, but he has to, pr- I mean, he is an elite manager, but the elite managers prove themselves by development teams when things go wrong. Yeah, yeah. So if he isn't able to fix this, then it will leave question marks over him. Despite mm. even all the success as well, you mm. have to look at a manager, you have to see how you, how you can progress a team, how you can change it to mm. make it better when you get in situations like this. Now, I think they failed massively in the transfer market. Mm. I don't think there's any quick solution in January either. I think it's next summer. I'd genuinely be looking at next summer if I'm Liverpool. Because it's a very aged squad. You look, mm. They were chasing the goal and they brought on Curtis Jones, Milner and Henderson yeah. when they yeah. were chasing the goal. Yeah. Like, come on. Mm. They're going to get destroyed when they play even bigger teams mm-hmm. with with that sort of you know. Do you think Klopp will be there next summer? Yes, All I right, do. Okay. Yeah, I think they'd be stupid to sack him. I just think the squad needs reinvestment. Okay, That's you know great. they've been linked with uh, Saicedo from Brighton, for instance, and Tillemans. Saicedo is exactly what they need. He'd I was, be perfect. I was, yeah. yeah, you need to make sure that Thiago isn't constantly using his legs. Mm-hmm. He can. He just needs to play a sit, create. Mm-hmm. You need somebody else who's just doing the dirty work behind him. 